Funker's using a secret weapon to get you to buy NFTs. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you're there, sir. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Couples out, toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. <laughs> What's your secret weapon, Chris? Their butthole? No, Heather. Why would it be their butthole? Because people like buttholes. People like hashtag buttholes, but I don't know if they like the real b-hole. They do. The only thing I know about buttholes, Heather, is that they stink. Much like this conversation. Funko is dropping some new NFTs, and they're Star Trek, and they're Black Light. Every Black Light collector's fantasy. Not my fantasy. I don't want Star Trek Black Light Funko Pops. You are the biggest liar I've ever met. I'm not buying these. I told you this already. Before the video, I told you I'm not buying them. You told me you weren't buying the big boy NFTs. But the big boy NFTs, I mean, they were sort of cool. I don't know. You told me you weren't buying the Halloween Freddy NFTs. Heather, they're Freddy. They're Halloween. Remember the time with the Ninja Turtle NFTs and I got the Blacklight Bebop? You spent more money in NFTs to buy that than you would have purchasing that pop on the secondary market. Okay, you don't have to rub it in my face. This whole video is starting to stink. You're buttholing it up. Funko is trying to sell us more NFTs and this time they're using their secret weapon Black light, because who doesn't want black light anymore? It's like the biggest thing in the Funko community. But they're using Star Trek. Star Trek. I can do that thing. You do that really good. I can do doubles. What's up? What are we doing this for now? This is a Star Trek gang sign. Oh. Oh, I lost my pinky. Hold on. releasing five black light Funko Pops, one being a Freddy Funko, then there's a Spock, a Klingon, a Captain Kirk, and a Scotty. The hardest one to get apparently is going to be the Spock with a 999 limited count. Wow. Heather, can you remember the last time there was a super special, very popular Star Trek Funko Pop? No, but I do remember that Spock Funko Pop with the cat that was up on the Funko shop for Ever. I don't remember a popular one either, Heather. So is this catering to the Trekkies or just catering to black light completionists? I'm gonna go with black light completionists because you don't see a lot of Trekkies caring about the Star Trek Funko Pop line. They don't even make that many of these things. We collected a bunch of opinionated comments as we usually do, talking about all sorts of things. But first, head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Garrett aka Fastmo24, Michelle D, Hot Doc, Rulies, Chris Restevo, Jimmy Tauber, Drizzy, Brian Dill, Dion, and Marshall Owens. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. Before we read off all those comments, I just want to say I'm not very excited about these black light pops, which is why I'm not going to go for the NFTs at all. I've never been a fan of Star Trek. I've been a fan of Star Wars instead. And that's typical with a lot of people. A lot of nerds like me, Heather. We have to have either one or the other. Why can't you have both? Because you can't. You just can't. Speaking of Star Wars, we just wanted to shout out to our friend Sean Neal, who's going to be a part of the Macy's Day Parade with the Grogu Macy's Day Parade float. He's actually going to be out there during the Thanksgiving Day Parade, holding one of the ropes, guiding Grogu. How amazing is that? That's so cool. And did you see the pop that dropped today? Yes, there were Funko Pops that dropped for this, and there was also a bunch of t-shirts, and they looked awesome. They really did. I am super duper excited for Sean. I wish I could be holding that float with you. Is that weird? That's mm. a little when you put it that way. So look out for Grogu during the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And by the way, it was designed by Reese O'Brien. That's so cool. I almost bought one of the shirts, but it literally says Macy's Day Parade on it. I don't know if I'd wear it like all year round. It said Thanksgiving all over it. It's a little bit weird if you're just wearing it around in like June. So the comments for the Star Trek NFTs were literally all over the place today. The first one says, these are dope. They should have just made them into real pops. They are real pops. Yeah, I don't know how people were confused. They dropped a photo today showing all the Funko Pops. They were not just the photo of the NFT because they had limited numbers attached to them. They're going to be hard to get, 
but they're the real thing. Cool, but Star Trek is hardly a leading line of pops. You got Trekkies and Black Light lovers salivating, but it don't get me any closer to consider buying NFTs. I'm with you. This is something that definitely does not get me to want to buy these NFTs. I have no want or need, even though they're Black Light and Black Light is cool. Not for me. Black Light is getting less and less appealing. Or you can just collect the lines that you like that are black light and leave it at that. Exactly. I mean, they're cool. They're not up my alley, but they're surely not boring. These should make you hate black lights. And as a matter of fact, you should get rid of your entire black light collection because this is bull a little aggressive, but I like it. Jesus, I need these, but the NFT thing is so overly complicated. I do agree with that. It is complicated, it's very annoying, but you should head over to Google and search Funko NFTs. It'll actually take you somewhere where you can just follow very easy directions and figure it out really, really fast. LOL, so they're gonna try to get everyone with black lights, laugh emoji, laugh emoji, F Funko. Funko's just making money, they're a business. Have you heard of it? Funko is a company, and this is a brilliant move. They're making money off of digital trading cards. They don't even need to provide boxes or shipping costs. Are you kidding me? I can't buy these? WTF? Question mark, 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 question mark. Either buy a shit ton of NFTs or buy the pops on the secondary market. I am beyond upset about this. I have had every Star Trek pop since the beginning of them releasing them. Was the only reason I started collecting pops at all. Now they do this and I will never have them all without paying an arm and a leg. You know that these will sell out instantly just like the rest of them have. All to scalpers. I may get out of the pop game completely because of the NFT thing. So this person is giving up on pops because they can't complete a line. And they're saying they can't complete it without even trying. Bingo. Why is everyone a f completionist. Why can't you just collect only the ones that you like? Dangle a slim chance to redeem a black light pop and shitheads be buying onto the virtual NFT scam. I hate when people use the word scam when things aren't a scam. It's not a scam. You're getting something in return of your money. They're not taking your money from you. You're willingly paying them for a digital NFT. NFTs were a thing before Funko got a hold of them. Funko just bought into this because they knew they could make a lot of money off of it. And by the way, they are. They're selling out right away when they put the NFTs up. Sure, don't call them a scam! It's fine if you don't like them, but scam is a pretty harsh word. So either you love them or you hate them, Black Light Funko Pops are really, really popular right now. So popular that Funko is willing to use these things as a way to get you to buy some of their new sh** if you've never purchased NFTs before and you love Black Light and you also love Star Trek, well, they might have you hook, line, and sinker. Okay, but honestly, how many people out there are Black Light collectors and Star Trek collectors? Well, there are only two Star Trek collectors, so I guess one of the two would have to collect Black Light too. What if they don't? Well, then the answer to your question is zero. So if you're going for these, good luck. We hope you get what you want. But in our opinion, these are trash. Actually, they're not trash. They're not bad. They're black light. That's kind of cool. I'm just not a Star Trek guy. And I think it's sort of cheap that Funko's like using that to entice people. F***ing scam. Funko are the biggest scammers ever. F***! Okay, seriously though, I love Funko. Me too, Funko's awesome. Guys, what do you think about the Star Trek Blacklight NFTs? How many packs are you gonna get? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. And did you buy a Grogu Funko Pop today for the parade? Let us know that too. Don't forget, head over to Seven Bucks a Pop every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for their Funko Pop Drops. Seven Bucks a Pop is doing something really cool every day until Black Friday. They got a lot of Black Friday shenanigans going on over there, and you don't want to miss out on that. SevenBucksapop.com. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.